Okay, so today we're going to see, uh, we're going to answer this question. Can the value of the standard deviation be larger than the value for the range? Uh, so first let's, let's look at this graph and we see that here we have a distribution and that would be the average, uh, that's mu. And then we would have a standard deviation, that's sigma. So sigma would be this value here, sigma. And let's imagine that this, um, this distribution has a range uh, that starts here, x minus, and that ends here, x max. So, uh, first of all, we're going to get to the definition of sigma. So, sig sigma is defined by this formula. Uh, so, you take every observation, the xi, and you take the difference between the xi and mu, and you square that. And you're going to sum that for every observation. So, if there's an x that's here, you're going to take the difference with the mu, x, y minus mu, you're going to square it. And you're going to sum that for every observation. And then you'll make the average by dividing uh, all these squares by n. And that's sigma square. So if you want to get sigma, you just have to take the square root. You take the square root of that. Uh, but I'm going to take that out. So um, let's see what happens when we want to include the range in that formula. Here what we have represented is an x max that is um, more distant, more distant, sorry, to mu than x mu. So in other term, in other words, this distance here is larger than this distance. So there's a very wide here x max value. In this case, x y minus mu the distance of any observation, because it's within that range, to mu cannot be bigger than that distance, right? So if I have an observation, if I have so let me put back this drawing here, okay. So saying if we have an observation here, then this distance is is smaller than that distance. So every x y minus mu is lower than x max minus mu. So sigma square is lower than this value. And then it's just basic math because the sum of one to n of every similar term x max minus mu is just n times x max minus q, mu square. So sigma square is lower than 1 over n times n times x max minus mu square. So we can take out the n's and we get x, uh, sigma square is lower than x max minus mu. So sigma is lower than x max minus q, mu because that's a positive number. So x max is bigger, higher than mu. And we get sigma this distance is smaller than this distance. So it's also smaller than the larger distance, that's the range x max minus x mu, which is what we wanted to uh, sorry, demonstrate. I'm going to make a nicer square here. And it would work the same if x mean was here, here, and so if you had the distance larger than that distance, then we would have put here not x max minus mu, but mu minus x mu, and we would get the same, the same uh, results. So that's it for today.